afternoon baseball on the show as you get a look there inside Rogers Center in Toronto. Today, a matchup of AL East rivals between the New York Yankees and the Toronto Blue Jays. It's Blue Jays baseball, and it's on its way next. This one off today. The afternoon for the Yankees. The third baseman, DJ. First pitch of the AB yeah. now. In there, no balls in the strike. And now he'll foul this one off as well to fall behind here. No balls and two strikes. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. Fastball swung on and missed, and the leadoff man has gone on strikes to start the afternoon. Digging in now for the Yankees. Luke Hoyt. Now here's the first offering. Fastball just inside. Can't complain a bit about the weather here. 75 degrees our temperature at first pitch. One out, nobody on. Nope. Three and oh. I'd be shocked if this wasn't a four-pitch walk right here. He doesn't want to mess around and leave something over the heart of the plate and get beat in this situation. Three and one the count now. And he lays ball off four, here. Ball four. four. And he'll become the game's first base runner here with one away. Next for New York, Aaron Judge. First shot Aaron. for him here with a runner at first now and one away. From the belt, the pitch. Fastball on the first pitch and it's taken for strike one. Slider finds the zone for a strike. And it's a ball and two strikes now to Aaron Judge. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. First offering, Giancarlo Stanton is at the plate now. He's quickly behind 0-1. For most people, being down 0-1 would seem like a lot, but this guy is such a good hitter. He doesn't care ball, going right. deep in the count. He's got runners on base. He has a game plan every time he comes to the plate. Let's see how this one plays out. Now the one and one pitch is ball, taken for ball two. Out. Strike two swinging two just out in two front strikes. of the slider. Here now the 2-2. Two -two. Swung on and missed strike three. George Springer the next to hit. It lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the, day, the center fielder. Infield in the overshift here now the pitch. Lays off 1 and 0. Big swing and a miss at the changeup. A ball and a strike. Called strike and he's behind 1 and 2. One ball, two strikes, count. Hit down the line at first. Got him. Next to bat for Toronto, Marcus Semien. His career line against Garrett Cole. He's gone just two for 15. He's taken him deep once. Ball one. Pretty good pitch right there. Fastball in off the plate. One of the things you want to do as a pitcher, try to stand those hitters up. Bottom part of the zone, a good changeup gets the call. Oh, shaking his head on that knuckle curve. One and two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Into the windup and the pitch. And the slider gets him swinging. Two gone. Next here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Here's the first pitch to him. 
going to be a long day if he executes like this, punching tickets right out of the gate. Turned on, but that's ripped foul down the third baseline. The 1-1 home. A swing and a high drive to right center field. Judge is going back, and he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and standing in is the veteran outfielder, Joey Gallo. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. There's a changeup to start the second, but that misses. It's a ball and no strikes. 2 0 to the Yankees left fielder. Hate to do it, but I've got to question the pitch calling right there. With a guy like this at the plate, you got to attack him with your fastball instead of pitching him like he's a middle of the order power guy. And there's the first out. Now to bat, Aaron Hicks. Lifetime numbers against Robbie Ray. He's 0 for 5. Here's the first pitch. 1-0. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Still looking for our first hit in the ball game. A ball and two strikes now. Two balls and two strikes to Hicks now. Hey, they tried to tie him up on that last pitch, so I like that they went away with this one. The execution didn't work, but I like the idea behind it. Springer on the run. He gets there, and that's the second out. Base is empty, two away, and that'll bring up Glaber Torres. Glaber Torres. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Yeah! 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Swing and a miss on the slider, and he's quickly behind, nothing in two. Down 0 2, maybe simplify the game plan right here. Get on the heater, even though he has five weapons to go to. To 1 and 2 now. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. I know he missed with a fastball right there, but this guy's arsenal. You can't figure out what he's trying to do. He's got a lot of different directions. Well, the play's been made, and with it comes the end of the inning. Last half of the second set to go. And into bat next, the legacy, Bo Bichette. Now here's the first offering. And here's a fastball called for strike one. They love the confidence in that pitch right there, going right after one of the better hitters on this team. Not afraid to execute. Behind 0-2 now. Swung hey. on and missed. He didn't even come close to contact on a ball way out of the zone. Out of One out. The white view. Teoscar Hernandez hey, digging in now. His career oh, line against good. Garrett Cole. He's one for four. There's a fastball missing down and away for a ball. 1-0. and A ball and a strike. One and one. That's not really where you want to miss right there. I know this guy has got power stuff, but you can't live in the middle of the plate against this lineup and expect to have success. One and, two. one and two now. Into the windup and the pitch. Nope. Bottom of the second here with no two, score. Two. Turned on down the line. But a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now the pitch. Oh, and this is swung on and missed. Four strikeouts already, and that's out number two. So stepping in is Alejandro Kirk. Two outs already on the K this inning, so he'll be looking to do better. And a high strike to begin the at bat. It's 0 and 1. Oh, a hard hit ball that'll be caught over there at first. Needed just a little more height on that one, but instead, the inning is over. All set for the start of the inning, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. 
wind up and the 0 1. Off speed inside, pitch just point. missed inside. One and two to the Yankees That's catcher. One and two. I love everything this pitcher's got working right now. He's got presence. He's got great body language on the mound. He's got fastball command and a nice early feel for his off-speed stuff. Now a swing and a miss as he picks up another one. Make it four strikeouts already, and there's your first out. And stepping in, Gio Urshela. First pitch on the way. Popped up. Guerrero has room in foul territory, and that's the second out of the inning. So back to the top of the Yankee order, digging in. DJ LeMay here. This guy's still looking at a zero in the hit column. There's a fastball on the inner third, taken for a strike. Hit down the third baseline. That's a hit, the first of the game for the Yankees. The throw into second. The tag, and they'll get him at second. And with that, the side is retired. At the plate, Corey Dickerson. The designated hitter. As he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. Downstairs, two balls and no strikes. Now Cole's delivery, 2-0. And that's in there, 2-1. and one. A good fastball above the belt is normally a pitch that batters love to take a rip at, but that one froze it. Swung on and missed, and it's even at 2-2. Two and two. Ball three here as that pitch runs way up and in and backs him out of the box here. Well, that'll wake everyone up. Anytime you buzz the tower like that, there's reason for people to start getting a little bit edgy. Here's Hicks to put it away, and that's out number one. Stepping in for the Jays, Lourdes Goyal, his career lock against Garrett Cole. Just a one for nine. First offering. Oh, Bottom of inning number three, nothing, nothing our score. Aye. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking Inside these hitters. He's making it look easy. Two and one to count. That's oh, and not three. an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow. Three He's three got one. it to three, three and one. one you know, when you haven't gotten a guy on base yet in the three entire feet. game, a three-ball count kind of feels like a little mini-rally. Let's see if he can get on. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already, and there are two gone in the Bad inning. The first Striding in is Santiago Espinal. And now a pitch on the way. Bases are empty here with two men out. Pretty badly there as he reaches to poke this one foul. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the change up this next down. pitch. I'm on everything else. Count moves to a ball and two strikes now. Had to wait back on the changeup, and he did a good job just to make contact. Just a bit low. Tough strikes. call, but it's two and two. And an off-speed pitch swung on and missed, and with that, the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Luke Voigt. I know we're not seeing a lot of offense in this one, but there's still some game left. I'm looking to see these guys, both offenses, make some notable adjustments at the dish and try and scratch a few runs across. Low and away as he misses again, 2-0. That'll find its way out of play. Still going to have a good hitter's count, 2-1 now. Into the windup and the pitch. 
too high that time, and it's three and one. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. Oh, and a good pitch there as he had him fooled badly, and it's a full count now. Three and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Here's big Aaron Judd. Struck out in his first at bat. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Hey, usually the second time through the order, you start seeing an incorporation of some more off-speed stuff. But this guy's locating and feeling really good about his fastball. Two back-to-back. 2-1 two pitches, a fastball two, two, two. swung on and missed 2-2. Two and two. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That can be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. So he chased out of the strike zone on that one. Aaron Judge goes down for out number two in the top half. Giancarlo Stanton is at the plate as he watches ball one. Two balls and no strikes to count to Stanton. You can see this guy's more focused at the plate right now. In that first A.B., he went down on strikes. Three and oh now. Three. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here Aye. just because it's three and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. He loses ball him four. on That's ball out. four. Here's Joey Gallo now. Man at first That's after the two out walk. From the belt, the pitch. Ball and he lays down. off there, 1 0. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. That's a ball. And he misses low with it, 2 0. <laughs> Hit in the air down the right field line. But this is going to wind up a foul ball. Set and the 2 1 pitch pulled toward right center field. On the move is Springer. But he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. Stanton is on his way home. And he's right. safe at the plate as they take the lead. Now that the center field. Into the box, Aaron Hicks. One yes, he'll take a look at a slider here that misses for ball one. Little tardy on that swing as it's well wide of first. The set and the 1-1. One, one. Looked like he was cheating a heater right there. A little bit too far out in front. Got to find a way to keep his hands back. One and two. Here it is. Oh, damn. That's a swinging strike three in the dirt. And that ends the inning. Here's George Springer. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Leading off for the J. The center fielder. Joe. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. Hey. Quite an interesting outing up to this point as we head into the middle innings. He's pitching quite well, but you look at his first pitch strike percentage, less than 40%. That's going to be something he's going to need to clean up moving forward. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And that's the first hit in this one for the Blue Jays. Number 10, second baseman. Into the Marcus. box now. Marcus Semyon. So go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Hey, three foul balls in a row right here, searching for that put away stuff. Here it comes, 0 and 2. All one. Talk about one frustrating ball. as a pitcher. You make a great pitch like that, the guy just lays off of it. That barely missed the zone. Broken bat as this ball's hit on the ground. And he won't even 
think about second as he'll flip on to first for the sure route. Now to the plate, here is Vladimir Guerrero Jr. trying here to plate the tying run from second. First pitch of the A.B. on its way. As he'll take a look at ball one. Count one and oh. And he'll try to check his swing here, but he'll have no such luck. It's strike one. A 1-1 one, one home. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. The 2 2 pitch. And Three. he's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Well so stepping in is Bo Bichette. The base knock to the outfield could score the tying run from second. Below the knees, one ball, no strikes. A ball and a strike. A little hesitation right there by the batter. It was great execution by the pitcher down and away. But that looked like a late swing. Could have been sitting on something else. Lifts it into the air to shallow center. Urshela is there, and the side is retired. And now, Glaber Torres. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. First pitch on its way. Sent on the ground out to second. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. Up next, Gary Sanchez, who went down on strikes in his last at bat. Here's the first pitch to him. Although he doesn't use that pitch too much, if he's able to steal some strikes early in the count, could be something they have to think about. Look out, a fastball up near his dome, and that'll wake you up a bit. And it's one and two. One of the best ways to keep a guy uncomfortable is to pound him inside. They're doing that, and this one caught the zone. And he struck him out, and that's now eight that strikeouts thus up. far. Gio Urshela. First offering. Gio Urshela one, one, no is strike. in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball. It's 1-0. Oh. And it's he five, won't bite two. at that one either. It's 2-0. Oh. Two outs here, and the focus needs to stay sharp. You don't want that lineup turning over in an inning if you can help it. Lifted in the air to center field. Springer has a read on it. No problem with this one, and the inning is over. Set now for the bottom of the fifth, and striding into the plate next will be Teoscar Hernandez. Ready to deliver. Here comes the first pitch. And he'll try to crowd him there to start the at bat. It's 1 0. Good fastball there. Didn't get the swing, but the guy at the plate isn't someone who chases many bad pitches. Count even now at 1 and 1. Seared down the first baseline. And that's through for a hit. Around first, he's digging for second. And the Jays are in business now. It's a leadoff double. The batter will be Alejandro Kirk. As the first pitch misses to him. It's ball one. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. A ball and a strike. Both teams with just two hits apiece thus far. Swing and a liner. That gets down. He's got himself a base hit. And the tag. Too late as he's across to tie things at one. So now to the plate. Corey Dickerson. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. And 
And this misses the outside corner, so it's knotted up at one and one. Hey, that backdoor breaking ball just missed. He had a chance to run it to 0 2. Pulled toward right center field. Hicks is after it. He's there and records the first down. Now at the plate, Mortis Guriel. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Guriel. First pitch on its way. Hold one for count. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little oh, discipline here. 0 oh 2. He is in complete command out on the mound today. He's got all four corners count. locked in, and now two. he's raising eye levels to boot. A ball and two strikes now. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. Two balls, two strikes. And they're working the outer half two. here, but that one's wide for ball three. Not a bad time right here to put that runner in motion. Three, two count. You send the runner, and if it's a bad pitch, it's ball four. And that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. And now in the box, Santiago Espinal struck out in his last trip to the plate. From the belt, the pitch. Oh, hey, this pitcher's going to have to step off the mound right here and refocus. Take a deep breath, something. Can't keep falling behind and creating traffic. It puts everybody on edge, not only himself, his defense, and especially his manager. The 1-1 one, one home. Well, it has to be a challenge pitch coming up here. He probably doesn't want to flirt with loading the bases. To 2-2 two and two now. <laughs> Hey, would like to see a little bit more discipline than that. You get a count in your favor, and you swing at a pitch that bad? Not good. Off-speed pitch, and this one runs in and nearly gets him here. That was a changeup, so there really wasn't any intent behind it. Looked to me like... Now a ball hit high in the air. Deep down the line in left. Hooking just a little. Kirk ignores his coach. He's chugging for home. And that'll score the run from second as they jump in front now, 2-1. to one. At the plate now, George Springer. And she'll take strike one on the inside corner. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. The offensive approach here is simple. You know the pitcher's going for the K, so set your sights middle of the plate. And then don't worry about the infielders. They're so close, hard contact is a guarantee. Backs up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. George Springer becomes out number two this inning. As he will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. Ball one. Guriel at third. Espinal on a second with two down. One and two as the changeup had him out in front there. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. Taken the other way, but this should be routine out there in right field. Judge is there, makes the catch, and the side is retired. Sixth about to get started, and that'll give way to the third baseman, DJ LeMayhew. Now the first pitch. Sends that one out of play for strike one. On its way is pitch number 75. And here's a slider that runs inside that time, and that'll keep him from diving out over the plate. Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees' leadoff man. Going to even up the count at two and two. Full count now, three and two. No pitcher likes to take the count to three and two, especially when you throw a non competitive pitch like that on two and two. That one wasn't even close. Another full count pitch home. On he 
can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight pitch at bat. So now to the plate. Look, Boyd, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. And now the first pitch. And he just keeps rolling oh, along as he starts another batter out with strike one. Hey, this isn't exactly the way you'd like to draw it up. Not throwing a lot of first pitch strikes, but the bottom line is he's getting outs. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Fooled by the speed and location of that one. It's two and two. I know we want to focus on the offense and how bad they've been so far, but can we give some love to the pitcher? He has had these guys in the rocking chair all day. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Luke Boyd goes down for out number two in the top half. And that one yanked just foul. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. He's one pitch away from striking out the side. But he a swing and a miss. That retires the side, and that will do it. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And that brings up the big bat of Vladimir Guerrero Jr. Ready to deal. Here comes the first pitch. In the air, out to right. Judge is there. One pitch, one out. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Bo Bichette. He struck out and flied out. 0 for 2 so far. First pitch of the A.B. now. Lifted down the line in left. And foul. Low scoring game thus far. 2 to 1 here in the sixth. 1 and 1. Blue Jay shortstop with a one and two count. The problem for the batter now is he's gotten so inside conscious after those first two pitches. Anything on the outer half of the plate is going to look a foot outside. He'll try again one two. two ball. Keep in mind two people the longer the at bat the higher the likelihood that this becomes his last inning. And he punches out another one make it nine for the ball game. So the next to bat will be Oscar Hernandez. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. 2-0 now. And now a pitch on the way. And with just five and two-thirds innings under his belt, he's about to hit the century mark in his pitch count now. Yeah, Matty D, and the way baseball is played these days, it's about six innings or 100 heaves, and you're pretty much looking for that bullpen. And d -Row right now, this guy's pretty vulnerable right now at this game. Yeah, Dan, you were a monster down that bullpen. That's what it seems to be in today's game. There's five or six. But we'll have to press pause as that strike three to retire the side. Seventh inning ready to roll. And standing in is the DH, Giancarlo Stanton. First delivery to him. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. You got to love guys auto taking you oh oh if you're on the mound. You could steal that first strike and now you go to work just picking apart the corners. It looked like the fastball got away from him there. I mean, he's coming right after him, Matty. Three fastballs in a row. Uh, he's just rolling right now. And even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. One gone here in the Yankee seven. And up to bat next, the left-handed light tower power of Joey Gallo. And a slider tails outside for ball one. Up top, it's 2-0. Oh. Maybe a bit of an overthrow there, guys. May have let that front side open up a little early to try to pump up on a fastball and sailed on. From the windup, the 3 0 pitch. Hey. And he lays 
is off Back ball four. So ball now four. the potential tying run here is aboard late in the game. Up Joaquin up. Soria answers the ball from the dugout as he'll try to record the final two outs of this one. Aaron Hicks will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Aye. In there, 0 and 1. That's Ball a one as he lays off below the what zone. Up. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Hoping to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Count still at one and two. From the belt, the pitch. Ball two. <laughs> And a wave and a miss on a ball that was way out of the strike zone. There are two away now. Next up would be Glaber Torres. Lifetime numbers against Soria. He's one for two. Now here's the first offering. Owen won the count. We're in the seventh inning now of a pitcher's duel. Two to one our score. There's a breaking ball that couldn't quite catch the inside. That nibbled the corner there, but missed two and one. A bouncer up the middle. Throw in time, and the ball game is over. Man, we were treated to a nice pitcher's duel in this one. Both starters throwing strikes. They worked deep, and both were in command of the game. It really came down to a few key at-bats. This was a fun game to watch. Pitching and defense game, 2-1, to one, the final score this afternoon. The Toronto Blue Jays used a nice fifth inning to take the lead, and they never gave it back. Robbie Ray gets the W on the mound. Garrett Cole struck out 10 in the losing effort. So that'll do it for us. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew, I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to the new website, theshow.com. Fans are final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Blue Jays, two runs on four hits, no errors. They left three.